welcome back to Simply Homemade and Homegrown. I have had requests to show you how I do my seeds. So um, I'm doing my onions, the, the ornamental pink kale, and the green cabbage that I talked about in a previous video. So what I'm gonna use is a seed starting tray. Now this particular one that I'm using is from Gardener Supply. And this is the first time I've used this, or their brand. I've used other seed starting kits before, so I wanted to try theirs out and see how it is. Um, so the ingredients I will be using is an organic seed starting mix. You can pretty much use any brand that you want. Um, this is what, what I had on hand. With seeds, when sown inside, and then seed trays, you want to use that seed starting mix. It's fluffier, it's lighter, there's no debris in it that keeps the seeds from growing. So all you do is you get a bowl and mix it with water and you want your soil to be moist um, to where it will, when you grab it, it holds its um, mold, but it doesn't just drip or fall apart um, because of the water. Then all you do is take it and start filling up your trays. And I'm doing this inside today because it is hotter than Hades outside. And I don't want to be out there right now. So I will be, I will do these trays inside and then I will throw up a picture of where they will be outside when I am done. So I have already made the labels um, for each. So I'm gonna do a row of yellow, I'm gonna do a row of white onions, a row of the red, and then I'll do a row of the green cabbage. Um, and then for the ornamental kale, since I'm using those for decoration, I will, I'm gonna do two rows. So that will give me six. Mo depending on your seed, you'll have to look at the back of your seed packet to see, to see exactly how your seeds need to be sown. Some need light to germinate, so they need to be just sprinkled on the top and then some seeds will need to be a quarter of an inch deep. So you just look at the back of your seed packet and it should tell you that. It looks like I'm gonna have to make some more soil. Now normally when I'm outside or down in the plant room, I don't usually wear gloves, um, but since I'm in my dining room, trying to make this as less messy as possible, if that's possible. With the seed starting mix being so fluffy, it tends to take a lot of water and it doesn't want to absorb right away. So you just keep mixing until it gets there. We've got the clump. So normally when you do seeds in a seed tray, you'll want to sow, you know, depending on the size of the seed and what you're growing, two to three per cell tray with the intent of thinning them as they grow to give your one plant, your, your seedling, um, the best um, space to grow roots. Now with the onions, I'm going to um, kind of over seed those because when they're tiny, you can pull them apart before you put them in the ground. 
So I'm going to plant those a little heavy. And then the cabbage, I will probably, the cabbage and the, and the kale, I will probably do one seed per tray. All right, so let's get that going. So the first I'm gonna do are the yellow onions. You can see their, their size and all I'm going to do is kind of sprinkle them in. spread around I want to press them into the soil because they do need to be covered but I want to make sure I have enough in here and then I'll put a light um, coating of soil on top so that was the yellow so I'll go ahead and label with the yellow And then the same thing you want to make sure when you're doing your seeds that you press the soil down fairly heavily because you don't want air pockets air pockets are not good really counting these seeds I'm just doing probably a good dime size in my hand and then just sprinkling them about I'm not being very picky on that and now these are the red onions same thing Make sure your soil is pressed well into your tray. Sure you get all the seeds off okay so those are the onions now with the cabbage it says to sow half of an inch deep so I usually just take a marker and make a well into the soil About half of an inch, about that far down. And I'm gonna do one seed. You know, I may do two. Let me fix that. Just in case they don't germinate. So I'm gonna make two wells in each tray so that would be eight cabbages and then if I don't get a hundred hundred percent germination then I'm not going to worry about it and then I can give the rest away okay 
So that's the green cabbage. And then just close, press the soil back over the holes to make sure those seeds are covered and there isn't any air pockets. Because once a seed gets wet, it cannot dry out or it will just stop growing. So you wanna make sure there's no air pockets for the seed to dry. All right, same thing with the kale. This is um, a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna do, I'll do two per cell again. And that way that will give me 16. I'm sure I've got plenty of space to do 16 if they all end up germinating. Of course, these seeds are tiny -er than the cat than the kale or the cabbage ones. A couple of these holes are getting too, so I'll have to thin them. There we go. Cover those up. Now normally if I was doing this downstairs for summer crops, these would then go under grow lights. But since I'm doing these outside, I'll let the sun handle that. So I'm taking the extra soil and covering those onion seeds. I did not bring my spray bottle, and so I'll have to go grab that once I get all these covered. You have to keep a soil that's on top, um, not soaking wet, that just damp, until the um, plant um, germinates and it can grow roots. Once that happens, then these type of trays have a well that you can fill up with water and a seeping mat, and the roots will grow out of the bottom onto the mat and then you can just keep the tray filled with water and it will water itself. It's really convenient. But until that point, you have to keep the, the top misted. Let me go grab a spray bottle. So then you just finally mist the tops gently so you don't disturb the seeds. So what I will probably end up doing until the seeds germinate is I'm going to get some frost cloth and drape over the tray so that will keep the sun from baking the soil. I want it warm but I don't want it to toast the seeds and it'll prevent um, wind 
from blowing the seeds out or really any, any chipmunks or squirrels digging into the tray. And then once the plants have germinated, then I will take it off and let them be. Now, the seed tray does come with a clear dome that is designed to act as a greenhouse, which will help keep it warm under the grow lights and the humidity and keep the, the soil damp. But since it's going outside, I don't want to increase the heat or the warmth of the sun in there. So I'm just gonna use a use frost cloth. So this, this will be used when I do um, my seeds in late winter, early spring down in the grow room. So there you have it. Um, that's how you get uh, seeds started and seed trays and stuff to use and um, different ways of growing. So I'll see you next time. Bye.